Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick off, I have a very small favour to ask. The link above me is for two great guys that are part of a group that I belong to, the UK Cloud Magnets, Mick Scott and Paul Hackett. Not so long ago, an observatory in Scotland, the Scottish Deep Sky Observatory, was burnt down with all of the equipment inside. It was a massive thing for the community and it was a big loss. So lots of people have been raising money to try and replace it and to help them out. We've had raffles and other things, but Mick and Paul have decided to go one step further and they're now gonna do a nine day bike ride from one end of our country to the other. Uh, La John O'Groats to Land's End, I nearly said Land's End to John O'Groats, that's uphill. Um, so anyway, that's the thing they're gonna do. Uh, the link above me is for the short video that they've put together telling you what they're gonna do, uh, the charities they're gonna support, and how you can support them. I'll also put the details at the end of my video in the description, so please check it out, and thank you ever so much if you choose to support them in some way. I know that they will really appreciate it, and I also know that the charities will be really appreciative too. Right, thank you very much for listening to that bit, and now on with the show. My name's Glenn, and you're watching Astro Bloke. Well, I got my new Atabacron built. I'm gonna use it to send a subconscious message to my friends Glenn and Joe about imaging a new deep sky object known as NGC 8675309. Here goes. All right, let's wait for the results. SH2174, this thing, uh, there's a hunk of junk, it doesn't work. Oh well. Hi hey everyone, welcome to the channel. And uh, got a nice clear night uh, booked for tonight. So I'm just gonna get the observatory open, make sure everything's uh, set up properly, ready for tonight's imaging, and uh, hopefully we can uh, capture something good. So uh, let's get this open. Uh, really, um, the only thing I've got to decide upon is um, exactly what I'm gonna image. SH2-174. What was that? Ooh, SH2-174. Is that coming from my scope? Ooh, oh my god. That sounds like Kurt Zapatello from Astro Quest 1. What the hell is he doing in my scope? I'm going to ring Joe. Maybe he knows what's going on. Oh, it's Glenn. I was just going to call him. Hey, Glenn. Oh, hi, Joe. How are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, man. I'm doing good. Hey. I, oh, well, I, yeah, go. I, I got an idea for a, for a video. Really? What, what, a target? Yeah, a target. Oh, I, I've got an idea for a, a, a target, too. SH2-174. SH2 well, wait. Did you just say SH2-174? Uh, I did, yeah. That's what you said too, isn't it? Yeah. What well, What made you say that, Joe? I, well, I, I, I really don't know. I was on my way to the observatory, and then I heard, or I got this weird feeling, or I think I heard something, 
And it just said SH2-174. Shit. And then Shots I kind of got a little, yeah, and I got a little freaked no out. Way. And I ran in the house and I was going to call you. Joe, 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 I, I, my scope said that target to me. I swear to God, my scope said it. And, I, and I'm not joking. Your scope it, told you? I'm telling you now, man. And I'll tell you what, it sounded, and I'm just going to sound really weird, it sounded like Kurt Zapatello from Astro Quest 1. Oh, dude, now that you say that, so did mine. The no voice way. I heard, it was it was Kurt. Oh, my God. We need oh to call God. him. We need to call him. Let's call him. Definitely. Uh, get him on the video link. We'll have a chat. Yeah. All right, awesome, Joe. I'll go, jump, I'll go indoors and get on my PC. I'll, I'll meet you in a minute. Okay. All right. Bye. All right, man. Bye. Right. Let's try and sort this thing out. Hey, Glenn. Okay, I got Kurt. He's coming on right now. Oh, is he? You, have you managed to get a hold of him? Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. We need to find out what's going on. Oh, oh. Hey, guys. Hey, Kurt. Hi, Kurt. <laughs> Hi, Kurt. You all right, mate? Oh, I'm fine. Hey, hey I got this um, idea uh, that I want to run by you guys. How about we image NGC 8675309? It's funny you should say about a, 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 an image. It's the reason why we're calling you. But, Joe, you, what would you uh, tell him? I was thinking of doing SH2-174. SH2 hmm. You know, I was working on this thing, this device called an Atabacron recently, the other day, and that number was written on there, and that may have been what went through to you guys. What have you been doing, Kurt? We're not supposed to be able to hear you. <laughs> You've been experimenting on us? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I am sorry, guys. But um, anyways, uh, I, I thought it wasn't working because, I, like I said, I wanted to do that SA, uh, SA, uh, NGC 8675309, but this SH2174, isn't that a song somebody wrote back in the early 80s? <laughs> <laughs> Now that you mention it, it's, it's possible. <laughs> SH2174, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you've confirmed that you did do it, Kurt, because I thought I was going mad and my telescope was talking to me. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Mm. Well, anyways, I'm just looking at this uh, SH2174. Hey, this looks like a good thing to go after, man. Yeah, I'm on board. I'm, I'm game. Let's try it. Yeah, cool. All right then. Cool. Well, I'll well are we gonna just uh, get a bunch of subs and put them together? Yeah, I'll just get my CT10 on it and I'll start capturing. Sounds good. I, I will start it with my hyperstar and try to pick up a lot of HA on it and see where that takes us. All right. So, sounds good. That sounds yeah. great. Excellent. All right. We'll get back with you, Kurt, when we put all, okay. we all of our data. Sounds cool. good. All right. Signing off. Speak to you later, guys. Bye. Back in the observatory. And so the target that we're going for collaboratively, that's myself, Joe Navarra, and Kurt Zapatello, is the target SH2174 which is known as the Valentine Rose Nebula. It's a very faint planetary nebula in the north near the Polaris and it's in the constellation of Cepheus and it's 980 light years away. Kurt suggested the target and uh, Joe got us all together and uh, we thought this would be a really good collaboration. Because it's such a faint target, it does need quite a lot of integration time. Now myself, um, I'm hoping with tonight's data, I'll have nine nights, and uh, that should give me quite a lot of hours. I'm shooting SH2. The equipment I'll be using will be my ZWO ASI 294MM Pro. I'll be shooting in bin two mode, and that will be giving 10 minute subs. 
They'll be shooting through two chroma filters, which is the three nanometer hydrogen alpha and the three nanometer oxygen three. And the three nanometer uh, sulfur two filter is by Antlia, which uh, holds itself really well with the uh, chroma filters. All the guiding will be done with my off-axis guider and the camera I use for that is the 290mm Mini. The scope I'm using is my Orion Optics CT10. Uh, it's 1200mm focal length and f4.8. All of this is sitting on my very trusty EQ8R Pro. Absolutely love this mount. Um, ever since I've got it, the CT10's been put on top, got everything balanced, got it polar aligned, and I basically have not had to touch this at all. I just switch it on and away it goes. And I've even got to the point now where I don't even think about guiding. This mount just does everything I want it to do. Absolutely love it. Okay, so I've checked all the equipment. Everything's uh, looking really good. All, uh, all working nice and uh, hopefully tonight we'll get another set of data to add to the data we've already got and then we can start to work on a final image to share with you. Uh, we're quite excited by what we're getting and uh, hopefully you'll like it too. All right, we'll uh, speak to you in a bit. So I've done this collaboration with both uh, Joan Navarra, who I've done many with before, and for the first time with Kurt Zapatello of AstroQuest One. Absolute legend and a really nice guy. Please check out their channels. I will put links in the description below. Um, they're both accomplished astrophotographers and both have great images and also entertaining videos to watch and I know they'd appreciate your support. So uh, the collaboration has gone really well and um, I've managed to actually accumulate over 25 hours of data and putting that together with what Kurt and Joe both acquired, we've actually got just shy of 72 hours of SHO data on this uh, very faint target. But uh, looking at the master subs that we've managed to combine together, it's looking really promising. We had a few challenges when it came to putting all the data together. I think Kurt had used about three different scopes. Joe had used um, another scope, uh, his Zenistar 81, and I was using my CT10, so we had all these different uh, field of views that we had to combine. But we got them all together, and it looks great. Well, it does so far, and I hope you agree. And um, But uh, Joe did a great job putting all the data together, and we did our final processing in PixInsight and a little bit of Photoshop. So really hope you enjoy the image. We've certainly enjoyed taking it. Love to say thank you ever so much to everybody that supports the channel and um, all of my channel members and anyone that supports me on Patreon. I want to thank you ever so much. It really makes a big difference and it's really appreciated. Right, so let's show you this image and I'm going to say goodbye now. So till next time, take care and clear skies. <laughs>